How brutally intolerant the masked butcher of Texas was, handing the woman a life on a sharp iron hook, the intense pain caused the woman to let out a heartbreaking wail. The inhumane butcher, quite handily, activates his tools of the trade. The woman witnessed the painful moment when the chainsaw disemboweled her boyfriend. The same fate must have awaited the woman. The butcher's special hobby is to collect human cheeks. All the tourists in the neighborhood become lambs to the slaughter. The torn skins are often used as a form of honor for his costumes. But this is not an alarming story. The story takes place in the small town of Lavaca, Texas. A few daring youths were exploring the area when they came across a man with a head that was upside down. A man with a face that didn't look like a good man and a stench that was not appreciated. Looking at the stupid, he picked up a knife and began to self-mutilation. This scene makes everyone dumbfounded. The next second with a knife cut aside the fat brother. Seeing this man so ridiculous, the youths have no choice but to drive the man out of the car. However, no one can guess that this mentally deranged man is the butcher's twin brother. Inside the car, a few people look panicked and don't know what to do. Driving to the abandoned haunted house, the car broke down. The youths are first to get out of the car. Henry and his girlfriend Karen try to find help, not realizing that the villa is a murderous place. Henry has the courage to break into the house. As he prepares to discover the truth, the masked butcher swings a sledgehammer and knocks Henry to the ground. After a few moments of struggle, Henry dies. Karen, his girlfriend, wants to find out what's going on. But as soon as she enters the house, she trips over the clutter. Upon closer inspection, there were human bones and fur all over the place. The horror of the scene stunned her. She ran back to the house. How could the masked butcher give up his prey? As soon as the woman opened the door to escape, she was grabbed by the riding butcher. She was carried into the room like a chicken to be slaughtered. The woman was too weak to resist, she was roughly hung on the iron hook like a prey, and the tingling pain instantly spread all over her body. The butcher, a man of few desires, has long become a habit of killing. The perverted butcher kept the people in a 10 mile radius awake at night. After waiting for a long time and not seeing his companions return, Mike decided to look for them alone. He wanted to look through the door, but when no one responded, he simply broke in. There was blood everywhere. An eerie feeling came over him. Just as Mike was opening the refrigerator, his companion, Karen, suddenly awoke. The scene before him stunned him. Caught off guard, the butcher killed Mike with a fatal blow. Karen is then placed in the cold freezer again. It's a simple, clean kill, like no other. After killing, the butcher likes to sit still for three minutes, perhaps feeling guilty or savoring the pleasure of the kill. On the other hand, his companions outside were already in a state of confusion. Anxious, Lisa decided she couldn't just sit there any longer, and the two of them continued to search the house. The butcher with a human face suddenly appeared with a chainsaw and used skillful techniques to dismantle Fatty into pieces. Lisa in front of her was stunned on the spot and fainted directly. The woman used all her strength to run away desperately. The butcher wouldn't give up the prey in her mouth. She ran into a house by mistake, but when she entered the house, she found only a dried corpse inside. The masked butcher was right behind her. Lisa had no choice but to jump out of the window. The butcher's intelligence is still quite high. He quickly ran downstairs to continue the chase. Lisa, sobered up, started to run again. She used all her strength and finally hid in a house. But she didn't realize that the man in front of her was the butcher's father. Now she had no way out. Lisa was quickly put into a burlap sack and mercilessly brought to the butcher's house. Her grandchildren are all murderous butchers. Lisa was about to become a lamb to be slaughtered. A sharp knife cuts the woman's finger, and then the zombie grandfather begins to suck the essence of her blood. After centuries of slumber, he was instantly revitalized. Lisa fainted from the moment of the absurdity of the act. The butcher's father claimed that Grandpa was once a great killer. Even though Lisa was dumbfounded, but the perverted family wouldn't give up and wanted her grandfather to show off his youthful murderous charms. However, her pleas for mercy are not helped, as the perverts simply ignore her pleas for mercy. Lisa is dragged to her zombie grandfather. The grandfather, who has been asleep for many years, is as weak as a shrimp, unable to use his strength. In the nick of time, Lisa exploded her whole body and like a wild horse, she violently smashed the glass and finally escaped from the butcher's house. Escape is not an easy task. In 10 minutes, the butcher's brother chased after her, holding the butcher's ancestral chainsaw and followed her like an eagle catching a chicken. But luckily, a container truck suddenly appeared in front of us. Lisa was able to break free in time, but the butcher's brother couldn't avoid it and was crushed by the truck. When the truck driver got out of the truck to check, the masked butcher came out with a chainsaw. 
The two of them quickly hid in the driver's cab. Perhaps the door is too hard, or the director intentionally left the chainsaw how to cut the door or not hurt. The two of them wisely escape through another door, but the butcher still won't leave them alone. The driver has no choice but to throw a flying knife. The flying wrench knocked the butcher to the ground. A speeding chainsaw split his left leg in two. Now there's a chance to escape. Lisa danced around and started to stop the car, but the driver is a fool too. He twisted the steering wheel so hard that the car almost flipped over. In the nick of time, Lisa climbed into the back of the car. Butcher was so anxious to see the car leaving. Lisa was lucky to have escaped from the accident. The butcher is waving his chainsaw in the dusk, as if to say that the duck has flown. This is the 1970 for American thriller of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A group of young men are traveling in a car when it breaks down and stops in the middle of the countryside. One by one, they get out of the car to look for help, but they accidentally break into a butcher's house and all of them are killed. At last, a girl escaped from death and got into a passing car, successfully escaping the butcher's pursuit. This story tells us that we should always travel in a group and never get out of the car alone to look for help. I am Bulldog Mufi. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.